Got a new Tuya smart switch that you just don't want to open up and solder? Or do you have a new Tuya plug that you just can't open up and solder? You want to know how to flash them over the air? Let's check it out. First things first, let's fix this. Let's move all this out the way. We won't be using any of this. So we're going to need our smart switch. Going to need our Raspberry Pi. This is a regular Pi 3. Just have it in a case. And of course, we'll need an SD card and the adapter if needed so we can flash the card in our computer. And one thing to note for the Raspberry Pi, you will need to connect it to your network using the Ethernet jack because the Wi-Fi in the Raspberry Pi will be used to flash the switch. So let's get to it. So I will leave links to all the software and all the GitHub pages and everything along with the uh, any Raspberry Pis or smart switches, etc. You'll find all that in, in the description of the video. So first we need to download Etcher. Download it for your operating system and go ahead and install it using your standard procedures to install software. Next you need to download the image for the Raspbian Stretch Lite. Next we'll open up Etcher. We'll select our image. During the download it would come down in a zip file so make sure to extract that as you need to flash the IMG file. Make sure your SD card is selected and click flash. Once you get the flash complete message, you may get some other messages that say it's not formatted, just cancel because Windows can't read some of the formats on some of the SD cards. But as long as you get the flash complete, you're good to go. We'll close Etcher. You should have a boot folder that comes up from after the flash what you need to do is we're going to make a new file as shown here so we'll be using a headless setup so we need to enable SSH so we'll make a new file called SSH and the very important part is without any extension we'll do that now say new file we'll do SSH and I'll delete the .txt say yes so now we just have an SSH file on the root of the SD card and the boot partition. Otherwise, we won't be able to use PuTTY to get into the Raspberry Pi. So stop the SD card and eject it. Next, we'll put it in the Raspberry Pi. We'll plug in the Ethernet cable and we'll plug in the power. You may have to go into your router to determine the IP address that is given to this Raspberry Pi. Next we'll open up PuTTY or any other SSH program that you like. The login will be PI and the password will be R-A-S-P-B-E-R-R-Y. Once you're into your Raspberry Pi, you need to type in sudo raspy-config go down to advanced options hit expand file system once it says root partition has been resized hit OK go down to finish tell it yes you'd like to reboot give it a minute or two and then we'll SSH back into the Raspberry Pi so now we're back into the Raspberry Pi I'll have these commands in the description of the video, but do a sudo apt-get update. Then a sudo apt-get dist upgrade. Next, we'll need to install network managers. So you go to sudo apt git install network dash manager, hit enter, hit yes. We'll go to the Tuya convert page on GitHub. And as things change over, over time, be sure and read if anything new that has been added to the GitHub, such as say your device may not be compatible or that they've made other changes since the recording of this video. So we'll scroll down 
and we'll copy each command into SSH. Now if you get this error it says bash git command not found, to fix that you need to do sudo apt install git. Hit enter and hit yes. I'm going to continue. Once that finishes, we'll go back and we'll copy this command back in. It's going to clone to your convert to your Raspberry Pi. We're just going to copy each command. Now this command will take a little bit longer, so we're going to fast forward it through this process. And while that's working, you probably want to wire up your smart switch. We're going to just use mains power since we don't want to open it up and hook up any type of USB flasher. So once it's finished, you should get the two you convert ready to start upgrade. We'll copy and paste the flash loader firmware plus backup. And make sure and read the screen and follow the instructions along. A disclaimer you have to answer because you could, of course, break your device. And if you don't have a way to open it up, it wouldn't be any good after that. So we'll type yes. And plus enter like it says. If you get the message where it says error, unknown option, log file, and if you scroll back, it says it multiple times, it's not going to work. So just stop right there. But if it don't, you don't get that and they fix that issue, then continue on. To fix that issue, if you have it, hit control C and you type in sudo nano start flash.sh cursor down with the cursor keys and you need to take out dash log file on each line where it has it. Leave the dash capital L but take out the log file. There's going to be four entries with this. And the fourth one's a little bit further down. Once you take all four out, you hit control O for overwrite, hit enter. It should say wrote 97 lines. It could be a little bit different based on the time when you're watching this video. Hit control X for exit. And you can just hit the up arrow and go to period slash start underscore flash sh instead of having to repaste it and hit enter type yes hit enter and those error messages should go away and you should see it say starting ap and it and start it stopping any web server etc if it still doesn't work can do a control c and then do sudo reboot and then start over with the CD to you convert and then do the start flash again. You should see the VTrust flash this time now that you fixed that error. Next, what you want to do is take your phone or another device, tablet, etc., something like that. You'll need to attach to the Wi-Fi that's coming from the Pi called VTrust Flash. The WPA password is flash me if you can. So once you've connected your phone to the access point of vtrust-flash, you need to make sure and put your smart device in pairing mode. We'll hold down the button for five seconds. Should get the fast blinking. And then we'll hit enter. And wait. Should get the dots at the bottom showing it's going through. Just be patient and give it time. Once you see this, you know the device is flashing. Just wait, don't make don't touch anything, don't unplug it. Once that's finished, read the screen, they'll give you the exact command to flash. The basic build of Sonoff Tasmoda is already included in the repository. You'll use the curl command. You can just copy and paste it and hit enter. Give things a few minutes, make sure they flash. Look on your phone, you should see an access point 
or you can use the laptop that, or computer you're on if it has Wi-Fi. And once you connect to it, make sure and browse to 192.168.4.1, and there you have Tasmodo. And that's it. You can continue on, scan for Wi-Fi networks, put in your SSID and password, and then continue on and set up Tasmodo and enjoy. It may seem a little involved to get everything installed on the Raspberry Pi and get the image correct and the scripts, but it's actually evolving and getting easier every day. There used to be another method that was actually even more involved, so it's gotten super easy compared to that one. I'm sure this one will even get even easier as days go on. So with that said, keep an eye on the GitHub page. And I'll, again, I'll put all the links in the description. Take a look at the README and also the Issues section. And possibly there will be different information you might find that someone may be posting that they couldn't do a particular plug or they had success with a plug, etc. As this is going to evolve each day as we go on. Now, I do imagine at one point, Tuya is going to try to patch this and it may be one of those whack-a-mole games and where they have to do some updates or they may totally lock us out of doing the over-the-air updates. So definitely if you have something you can't open, like this plug here, get them done as quick as possible before they lock us out of the devices again. So you thought about buying any dimmers or those Martin Jerry dimmers or the switches and you just didn't want to solder them before? Definitely buy them now and do them. It's super easy. Once you set up the Pi, you can do each device within minutes. And it's super simple to do. So I appreciate you watching. Hopefully this will help you out and get you different plugs done that you haven't done before. Make sure if you have a device that you were successful with, leave us a comment down below. Give us a thumbs up. And definitely become a subscriber if you're not. And click the bell icon so you can catch our next video. And y'all take care and happy flashing.